Hi guys, welcome back. It's Queen Reaper coming at you for another video for Ray Shadows. Hopefully you guys are doing well and having an amazing day. Um, hopefully your week is going off a great start. Before we get into today's video, I just want to see what you guys think about this Halloween event and stuff like that. What do we think about the PATH event right now? Like, uh, there's a couple of cool things in here. It looks very expensive. I've kind of figured out I want 65,000 for myself because I generally do want to get all these points and generally want to try and get this uh, Primal Shard, the Void Shard, the two bucks, Kale Skin. I don't really care about skins, but the Kale Skin would be cool. And then getting the oil as well as the other Epic Tomes and Gems, etc. So hopefully we can achieve all that in the next five days or three days so i do have a lot of silver and stuff like that i've opened my soul stones today already i kind of like this page i think it's cool it looks really really cool uh, and stuff like that so before we get into today's video obviously you guys are aware that i am moving to indonesia that is why we do not have a webcam for today's video that's why you guys can't see me and temporary in a temporary situation i'm moving to indonesia so for the next couple of weeks i do not have a camera and hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much my apologies about that i'm on a laptop today doing my own thing that's why the laptop's a bit slow but today's video is going to be on spider turn attack um so we just had the finite i've completed the finite already now i'm hoping to do the turn attack for dark house this is a free to play team and this is a team that's quite quick on hard but can also work on normal if you can't get the stats that I am hitting at. So let's get into this. Let's show you the run <clears throat> and so like that. So our test is on uh, 10, couldn't get us to work on 10. I haven't really tested on 6 or uh, sorry 7 or 8 but I have tested on the next of Void 1 which is uh, Void 6. So this is the team. You have three cold hearts, so I'm using two more cold hearts from Shogun and my other cold heart from <clears throat> from uh, Finite. I'll be using my Mephala Dragon <clears throat> and my Spider as well. She's in my Spider 10 team, and so is my Lydia as well. She's in my Spider 10 team. So these are the champions, very free to play, and Legos you get as one as you can earn. So if you're end game, hopefully you have three cold hearts. Otherwise. You know, investing in a cold heart is not so bad as investing in a legendary right outside of champion training or some of that, but it does work on for the path event anyway if you need to upgrade another cold heart. Um, so, you know, having three cold hearts max does have its handy uses. So as you can see, this is full auto. So Lydia needs to go first. She's going to go down with the defense down and weaken. And then we need to go out with the hex. The hex is the trick here um so make sure you follow that so as you can see we're gonna kill the spiderlings there and to do quite a stiff amount of damage it's not a straight nuke unfortunately uh and we need to just bear and wait be a bit a little bit patient we do have a bolster set as well just to give me some extra protection so i do feel that this won't work without the um without the bolster set so or the shield set that generally would work so it's a shield set i'm running here so i used to run bolster but i took it off with lydia for other things so yeah shield set can be used as well um but you need to be fast and that's the trick so as you can see we're going to go all the way through waiting for us we're trying to kill the spiderlings down to nuke the spider and to do our thing it's coming all the way down and in a minute we should finish the spider off which is just there one minute three, the slowest I've seen so far is one minute uh, seven. And this, the quickest I've seen is one minute, uh, sorry, 57 seconds, which is quite fairly quick for a all faction team. I won't complain about this too much, um, but we're just going to go ahead and give this another trial and go for it again. So again, um, I haven't tried Ghostborn. To be honest, maybe you could try Ghostborn for Lydia, but just bear in mind you're gonna lose the weaken. Um, I could try Ghostborn if I wanted, but right now I'm quite happy with this team. Bear in mind I've had to make no silver investment, change any gear or anything like that. I've tried a few other champions as well, a few legendaries, 
with like uh, the hunter and stuff like that with the hex ability to see and I tried doing a poison kind of comp but again couldn't get it to kind of work so um, it was a bit hit miss I reckon maybe you can get this work with poison explosion with supreme kale but my Zevia is up booked or built or mastered and I really don't want to waste any resources for just this one event to be honest not like that so there you are 53 seconds there it looks like it's 100 percent, which is cool as well um i'm just gonna go ahead and run it one more time so yeah really cool team i feel and yeah at least we're not running finite 20 like everyone else has been running all week uh sorry for the past two days for this so this is a cool little team and generally this is a great little strap but this doesn't work on spider 10 i have test this already so i just couldn't get the damage in there maybe if you're fully awakened maybe you get this work on finite uh i'm sorry on spider 10 maybe but we're not fully awakened and the gear is not too crazy as well they are pretty high speed so this is is an end game build if you have a very decent uh spider great haul as well that's going to help you as well, especially if you've been doing a live arena, which I don't think is a case, but maybe you can invest in some oil as well to maybe find some extra critical damage and stuff like that. Um, again, it's all a bit expensive, so maybe you just take stuff off your nukas and stuff like that. There we are, 56 seconds. Uh, we're just going to run this quickly as well on Spider uh, 20 on normal because it also works there as well. This will work as well with way less stats that we're using right here. You don't need to be empowered. So if you can't do Spider 6, for example, then uh, Spider uh, 20 might also be a option as well. I might test out Spider uh, next Void Down from Spider Hard as well, which I think is 10, I believe. I'm not too sure. Uh, so as you can see, just straight new way through. And... 17 seconds which is pretty damn quick again we'll go through again so you could you could argue you get more points for this on the event i will need to wait for the event to go live because as i'm recording this the event is on live i want to get this out pretty quickly uh we are missing the defense down right now so i think this will probably uh fail now so you know if you're missing the defense down or weaken this most likely fails so i'm expecting this to fail now uh, but we're going to let it run anyway to see if we are tanky enough to vi finish this off because we have got quite tanky cold hearts, to be honest. Like, my gold hearts are not like super glass as to most of your cold hearts, right? So, we give this an option and maybe we can get this still to uh, finish off the run. And it's just about waiting, waiting, waiting. Mm. Whenever you're ready, the cooldowns might come in soon. Mm. So we might have enough survivability to, there we are. We had enough survivability to stay alive for uh, Spider 20, which is cool. Uh, so if you're meeting all the stats that I've got, then you can do that as well. This is a little bit cheaper as well. This is four energy cheaper. Personally, I'm going to go do Spider 6 because I am looking to you know, try and progress as much as possible with my gear. So I will want to high farm the higher stage, even if it will take me longer or whatever. So, and as you can see pretty quickly, 17 seconds. Let's go and give this a little whiz on the other Spider hard difficulty as well and then we're going to wrap up and show you the gear and stats um so we got spider six and spider two is next void one so let's give this a little go and see if this will be any quicker or much different or see if it's much faster than six so let's have a look i'm not too convinced if it'd be much faster i haven't tried i haven't hit it yet so be intrigued to see and how it's going to do. We nuke a little bit further down. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, um, we got fairly good built cold hearts so. Um, I don't feel like you can get another cold heart in here. 
form of fodder because I think the hex does quite a bit, especially when you want to take out the spiderlings as well. So with obviously with hard, you want to take out the spiderlings to get the health down from the spider as well. Um, so as you can see, we are going all in. There's the defense down on weekend again from Lydia. There is going to be the hex with increased defense. And now we're just waiting for this to see if anyone can come in with the killing blow. Ah, there we are. One minute nine. So it's not any faster, but it can work on Spider 2 as well. Can probably work up at any stage up until Spider 6. Mephala coming in with 5 million there. So let's go and have a look at the presets and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and stop wasting my energy. So uh, the same presets on all the teams, obviously. So that is not the one you want to see. Uh, let's go into Spider, sorry. There we are. So let's have a look at these presets. So Lydia will open with the A1 and open uh, with A2 there. So you want it to cleanse after the Spider takes turns. So you need to make sure you got enough speed. Then we have the defense down the weaker with increased speed. Now you can have this uh, slower because you can generally use this for, um, you can generally have this slow anyway, because this is my one for the affinity comp. So again, it's not that important right now, but you can have this around about 250 speed, but she does need to be fasting in cold hearts. So I did turn off the A2 there. I think it's because I'm trying some out to be honest. So. I'm going to say open up the A1s and then let them do the thing with the A2s because you do get a chance to put out decreased accuracy, which is not super key. But as you can see, we've got loads of speed here and we're getting close as possible to 250. So I do just need to check the builds. Well, let me show you the builds anyway, so um, you can see what's going on. All the masteries are slightly different because I do use these in different content. So you'll just have to forgive me for that. So we have got a um, Lydia in a shield set, but again, you can go bolster. Bolster is probably slightly better, to be honest. You want good accuracy, but we are using accuracy lead. Um, I am empowered like how, so I've got some crazy stats on her. Um, but you don't need a resistance. You just need good 250 speed, reasonable defense, and good HP to stay alive long enough to live um obviously polymorph is for arena but you could generally take any mastery which give you any extra defense or hp which is needed and then war master is a tier six option but again a eagle eye wouldn't be too bad either so quite relaxed on that build to, to be honest nothing too crazy going on there not like seriously empowered it's not definitely built for doing this job so uh, I won't complain with that. So this is my Mephala again, nothing too special. She 276 speed, 4,300 defense, uh, 62,000 HP and 490 accuracy with 226 resistance. Uh, that's just generally just to try and get some extra bits of bobs on her. Um, these are the mastery, so nothing special here. <clears throat> and again, we're just going to go with reasonable uh, gear and stuff so do need to empower this girl a little bit for uh, other content but right now it's kind of enjoying her where i'm using her so again if i can empower her to a plus four i would love to power her to a plus four as a free champion but again i use her in hydra in this build i use her in uh dragon ice golem um where else we use a spider so we use her in all dungeons pretty much set from finite so that's a really cool build to kind of see and have available uh let's go ahead and just get these cold hearts out of the vault because i have left them in the vault uh cold mm -mm -mm. so i won't you will see that the masteries are a bit weird but definitely not built for this so let me show you the first one uh i can't remember which one's which to be honest so this one has giant slayer i'm pretty sure this is my finite one 
so we have Giant Slayer there, and uh, we have Cycle of Violence there, just to try and get the cooldown fast as possible, because if you do get that, then you do get a free fast as possible. To be honest, if you're going to rebuild all these cold hearts, make sure that you do get all the cooldowns uh, on their masteries if you're just going to rebuild. So again, Kroger damage, Kroger damage. I could get more Kroger damage on her. Uh, we have just a normal chest defense, speed, Kroger ray, uh, speed, and speed. So again, we've got a whopping 200 and 39 speed we have 3000 defense 40,000 hp 240 krogo damage and that's about it 220 accuracy accuracy doesn't matter on this build it is a savage build um we do then have the um next build so this one is for not too sure to be honest which one this is for i think this is for shogun so there's the masteries again we have the cooldown ability to try and get a cooldown, you could also take Cycle of Magic if you want it. Um, so yeah, Phantom Touch. So they all have Phantom Touch, which doesn't help me again, which one's which, but I'm not too sure. Uh, so Critical Damage, Accuracy, Speed, just Broken Pieces really looking for the correct build. And again, let's go into Spider, we have 257 Speed. Um, again, uh, 30,000 HP, a bit lower defense this time, but we have got a whopping 295 critical damage on that build. So it's a pretty nutty build. Again, a bit of a hit or miss build here, but we do have 235 speed, uh, 288 critical damage. Again, accuracy doesn't really matter. Seems like attack might matter a little bit for the other abilities so make sure like completely cold hearts do have some good um accessories on them so again uh quick right there which is quite a nice piece it's a shame i don't use it much these days because like swift perry is kind of dead in arena now so i kind of had that lying around so it was nice to get it used just gonna go ahead and upgrade that which is a bit more accuracy can't complain uh, it's a nice piece of grade anyway so there we are guys there is my free to play team for spider 6 for the event hopefully this helps you please remember to like comment and subscribe it does help to support my channel um and hopefully we'll see you on the next couple of events and hopefully you get your monkey uh i'll see you guys on the next video um i've been grim reaper peace